Geologist and geophysicists have agreed on the existence of a prospect, a potential field in order to find out if hydrocarbons are indeed trapped in the reserve rock, we must drill to hit them. Bearing in mind the knowledge acquired about the substratum and the topography of the land, the best position for the installation of the drilling equipment. Generally, it is vertically above the point of maximum thickness of the ge geological layer suspected on containing hydrocarbons. The drillers then make a hole in condition. Of a small diameter from 20 to 50 centimeters, this hole will generally go down to a depth of between 2,000 and 4,000 meters, ex exceptionally certain wells exceed 6,000 meters. One of them has been ex exceed 11,000 meters. Certain fields can be bored at the depth equivalent on the height of 12 Eiffel Towers. The derrick is the visible part of the drilling ring. It is a metal tower several tens of meters high. It is used to vertically introduce the drill string down the hole. These drill strings are made up of metallic tubes screwed, screwed and into the end. They transmit a rotating movement, rotary drilling, to the drilling tool and help circulate a liquid called mud down to the bottom of the well. The drilling ring works like an enormous electric hand of drill, which the derrick will be the body. The drill strings the drive and the drilling tool the drill bit. The most useful tool is an assembly of three cones, from which comes to the name three cone, in very hard steel which crushes the rock. Times when the rock being drilled is very resist resistant, a single block tool encrusted with a diamond is used. This wears down the rock by ab abrasion. Through the drill pipes, at the extremity of which the drill bit rotates, special mud is injected which the mud engineer prepares and controls. This mud cools the drill bit and consolidates the sides of the bore hole. Moreover, it avoids a gushing of oil, gas or water from the layer being drilled by accumulating the pressure. Finally, the mud cleans the bottom of the well as it makes it away along the pipes, it carries the rock fragments cuttings to the surface. The geologist examines these cuttings to discover the characteristics of the rocks being drilled and to detect eventual shows of hydrocarbons. The cuttings, fragments of rock crushed by the drill bit, are brought back up to the surface by the mud to obtain information on the characteristics of the rock being drilled. A core sample is taken. This core supplies data on the nature of the rock, the inclination of the layers, the structure, permalic, porosity, fluid content, and the possible present. After having drilled a few hundreds of meters, the explorers and the drillers undertake a measure down the whole sky logins by lowering electric tools in the well to measure the physical parameters of the rock. This measure validate or invalidate or make more precise the hypothesis put forward earlier about the rocks and the fluids that they contain. The log engineer is responsible for the analysis of the results of the various logins. The sides of the well are then reinforced by steel tubes screw. These tubes called casings are commenced into the ground. They isolate the various layers encountered. When hydrocarbons are found and if the pressure is sufficient to allow them come to the surface natural, the drillers to a flow check that oil is allowed to come to the surface during the several hours of several days through a calibrate hole. The quantity recovered is measured as are the change is pressure at the bottom of the well. In this way a little more knowledge is gained about the prob probable productivity of the field. If the field seems promising, the exploration team ends the first discovery well and goes on the drill to a second, even several others, several hundreds or thousand meters further away. In this way, the exploration team is able to refine its knowledge about the characteristic of the field. The decision to stop drilling is made only when all these appraisal wells have provided sufficient information either to give up the exploration or to envisage future production.